guys, this is Denise Brooks with Alexis Information Systems. It's January 2019 and most of you are looking at your financial software, trying to figure out ways to do things differently. Today's topic is the relationship between QuickBooks Enterprise and QuickBooks Point of Sale. I am sure you've heard both of them and that's why you found this video because if you didn't, you wouldn't be looking for that. I want to tell you three little things that you should know when you consider buying that combination. First of all, QuickBooks point of sale requires a financial software to work with. So that means you need either QuickBooks Premier, QuickBooks uh, Pro or you need QuickBooks Enterprise. When you connect QuickBooks Point of Sale to QuickBooks Enterprise, there are three major items that change. First of all, it is the handling of the inventory. If QuickBooks Enterprise talks to QuickBooks Point of Sale, Point of Sale is the one who actually handles the inventory. Why is this important? This is very important because you would not be able to do the reorder point, the reorder point management or the ordering the way you used to do in QuickBooks Enterprise. You would need to do it in QuickBooks point of sale. That's who now manages your inventory. The second thing is the management of your customers. What happens when QuickBooks Point of Sale talks to QuickBooks Enterprise is that QuickBooks Point of Sale relies on QuickBooks Enterprise to find out what is the customer balance, is this customer okay to charge, and is this customer a, an on-account customer, a no checks, or cash-only customer. So that's the information that goes back and forth. What you can do in QuickBooks point of sale is you can sell, send them a receipt. What you cannot do in point of sale, but you can do in enterprise, you can stand, send a monthly statement, you can send a receipt, and you can send a snapshot, a st snapshot of the actual account. Are you following a little bit? Let me recap. So the inventory belongs to QuickBooks point of sale. The Customer management belongs to QuickBooks Enterprise. Now, when it comes to the management of, of the vendors, your vendors are entered in QuickBooks point of sale, but they are managed and paid in QuickBooks Enterprise. That means you can issue a purchase order in your QuickBooks point of sale and then using the financial exchange, the information will be transmitted using an item receipt, which is also called a receiving voucher. It will be sent into QuickBooks Enterprise where you can pay the vendor. I think that most of the time, the frustrating, um, we, people get frustrated because they do not understand the difference between these two or do not understand that if you buy QuickBooks point of sale, you have to buy a financial software for it from the QuickBooks family. And if we're talking about QuickBooks point of sale version 18, and we're talking about QuickBooks Enterprise 2019, just keep in mind your financials, your profit and loss statement, your balanced, uh, balance sheet, your income statement, all that will live in QuickBooks Enterprise 19 when you your business is actually running using QuickBooks point of sale. You may ask, well, why buy QuickBooks point of sale? You know, that sounds that like complicated. No, it does not. If your business has a retail front, a point of sale system allows management to control a little bit of how the transactions are handled in the business. It gives you, the business owner, more control about your financials and it doesn't leave everything open to your staff. And also, having that hierarchy of users in both QuickBooks Point of Sale and QuickBooks Enterprise gives you, the business owner, 
that peace of mind that your information is not being transmitted with anybody who is not supposed to have it. There are a lot of changes that have been made recently in both QuickBooks Point of Sale and QuickBooks uh, Enterprise. One of the my favorite ones in QuickBooks Enterprise, starting with the version 2018, is being able to do inventory receiving using a smart scanner. However, you cannot do that yet in QuickBooks Point of Sale. So if you are interested in doing uh, pick lists, sales order fulfillment using one of those uh, new mobile computing devices, then just consider doing QuickBooks Enterprise by itself because making them work will not give you what you need because guess what? Your inventory management, when you have QuickBooks point of sale, talking to QuickBooks Enterprise, your inventory management goes to, ah, uh, you remember, QuickBooks point of sale. All right, this is a really, uh, it's a dense topic. We could sit here and talk about it for an hour, uh, but I will spare you that. If you have any questions about QuickBooks point of sale, QuickBooks Enterprise, or any QuickBooks product, I am a QuickBooks solution provider, and my company, Alexis Information Systems, would gladly help you figure out what combination works for you. You can reach, uh, uh, you can reach myself and my team using the link below. Thank you for your time, and I hope this helped someone out there. Bye.